Hello and welcome back all my Dragon Ball theories and with sad goodbyes that took place yesterday unfortunately there won't be much time for Beerus and the rest of Universe 7 to grieve. With only 4 universes left Catella is finally allowed for his remaining 3 fighters to be on the move with of course the 2 big mysteries at the tournament the hidden fighters of Gami Cyrus and Daemon. Now, looking at the preview for 119, there's a lot going on, and I think there are two fights happening at the same time. We will have shots on mainly fighting Gohan and Piccolo, then the two hidden fighters will be on the move against the rest of Universe 7. Shansa is using his special abilities to cause shadow clones of fighters that were erased. As we know from Whis, the Universe 4 is known for having extremely unusual abilities, and they have been holding back their trump cards for the final part of the tournament. With only 13 minutes left, that time is now, and the key to remember is his power alone won't win here and Shansa creating shadow clones along with other abilities could prove very troublesome. Then it looks like the other fighters can't avoid attacks from the hidden fighters as we see most of them being completely taken by surprise. So with these invisible fighters that have gone undetected so far there is going to be a big reveal with their powers and they can do a lot more than just stay hidden. We see this moment where Catella who is such a sneaky rat acting out on purpose to lure Beerus into thinking they are in a bad spot only to right after Beerus says something we get this zoomed in thought like you think you understand what is about to happen. It will be here at this point where Universe 7 will suffer some casualties from the very bizarre abilities of Universe 4. It is great that in the tournament Gohan and Piccolo had that special moment fighting together to showcase what they can do. Now that has happened and Piccolo is still in there I believe Gohan won't be able to save him a second time. I do think the crazy techniques of shots as shadow clones as well as who knows what other abilities he has will eliminate Piccolo. Then on the other side of things we will have a fighter taken by surprise and eliminated by the assault of the invisible fighters. Who here is more tricky as it is apparent anyone could be taken off guard by them. When was the last time you saw 17 take a surprise blast and everyone literally taken off their feet? So we could have a major elimination and I don't think it will be Vegeta only cause he hasn't had a main fight yet. So we could lose either of the androids at this point as they have both had some great showtime recently and I could see both of them sacrificing themselves in order to protect and save Goku while in his weakened state. The question is what is the counter attack to Universe 4 and does someone else get involved? Does the Universe 3 fighters attack Topo and Dispo? Does any of the other universes feel threatened by these invisible fighters and decide to try to eliminate them? Could we see Jiren on the move again? This is going to be craziness from here on out. I just want to thank you guys for watching and please leave your theories in the comments below. If you enjoyed watching, don't forget to hit that like button and please subscribe to support the channel and keep those theories coming.